Hello, hello everyone. We have infinite nectar today. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Nine, 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 nine. So yeah, since we have infinite nectar, let's just get everything going. I wonder if that affects, it probably doesn't affect the build speed, but I mean, what am I even building harvesters for? I literally don't need them just so I could, you know, have that. But I mean, since we have infinite nectar, why don't I just, yeah, exactly what they're doing. Just spam blade maggots all day. <laughs> oh, I found the Q limit. That's fun. Yeah, we're in the challenge levels because we beat all the normal ones. So we're going to see how this goes. Oh my gosh. I just had a crazy idea. Infinite water rockets. There's not even going to be a line that gets through here. You know what? This would be a great time for one of those siege uh, spitters. <laughs> yeah. My blade maggots are just waiting in line to start fighting. So yeah, let's send some uh, blade maggots going. What did I just say? I meant water rockets. We're getting some water rockets going and oh man. Okay, I was talking about army before in other videos, but this, this is all out warfare right here. And yep, water rockets are going through. Oh, we have neurotoxin. And Bamo. Oh, it's a good thing I built the water rockets. They're launching zappers like crazy. Okay, let's upgrade the spitter right away. Not even gonna worry about launching them. I just need to get through to Wormy. Ooh, they have skitter bugs already. Okay, I see how it is. Two can play at that game. And then we're gonna upgrade this guy immediately to the siege caterpillars. A few more waddle rockets, which sadly don't get upgrades. Not that I would really know what to do for waddle rocket upgrades, but I mean, a guy can dream. Okay, now we can get skitter bugs out in the field. This is actually very fast paced. I was not expecting it to pick up so quickly, but the water rockets are doing the work though. They're just walking up to everyone and dying. That's working beautifully. Oh, and it's not even gonna work well against these guys because water rockets really don't care about your poison. Uh-huh, yep, that's working exactly wrong of you. And they're launching neurotoxin. Oh my, I have so many siege caterpillars. I wonder when the game starts to lose frames, but I guess I can get the stingers out. These, this guy is a good idea sometimes but the siege caterpillars though oh this is where they shine with just a lot of them and especially the water rockets that break through the line and then die and then now we can get the singers in the field and send some neurotoxin their way as well i really am wondering what's gonna happen when the enemy decides to launch a nuke and that's another thing too i can't build a proto organ on this level so that's too bad we are making steady progress though all these water rockets dying is Perfectly counteracting the stingers. Ooh, and they try to send a sky queen up in the air. Didn't work out too well. We're doing it though. We're it's working. This is actually working really well and surprisingly easy. And now we have our stingers pressing through the line and getting crits. And the water rocket made it all the way to the end, but didn't know what to do. At least it's blown up stuff though, so that's cool. So let's just send a bunch more. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. Oh, now they're trying to get those guys out there. That's cute. Not gonna last long though. Oh, they're blowing up on the queen. I like that. I should probably get some more singers out there and I did not realize how few siege caterpillars I had now. Oh gosh, the singers are making a comeback. They're charging. That's fine though. Water rockets are back to the rescue. And then we have more siege caterpillars on the way. And they're kind of in range for neurotoxin. Yeah, I got a few of them. I really don't know what to send out now. I'm just sending everybody. So many siege caterpillars right here. This is amazing. They're not dying. Oh, they're actually blocking the units. Whoops. Maybe I should dial one of these back and send in air units. Nah. There's so many bees. Look at how many bees are attacking just one dude. Oh, that is crazy. Oh, there's a nuke. Oh my gosh, that sound. That was awesome. I'm not even upset because I can just build everyone back right away. Oh, this poor queen just having to push out egg after egg after egg. It's fine though, it's for survival. I didn't even know the Q really had a limit either. Guess I never really got that far. But now we can neurotoxin everybody. Oh, and they have a sky queen now. Good thing I kept waddle rockets. Oh, there he goes. And bamo, and bamo. Oh, there's a lot of stingers now. It's fine though. This is working pretty good. I just really can't do a whole lot because now I have to wait for everyone to just, you know, swarm again. Oh, they have a sky bomber now. It's fine though. This is working. Really not too concerned. Cause you know, we just keep building wild rockets and there's nothing they can do. Yes, good. 
Oh, the Mega Bombers were a bad call for you, my friend. And we'll get some more Siege Caterpillars back. Send a bit more Neurotoxin because they're in range. And we're just gonna send a massive field of water rockets. This is beautiful. And here come all the bees from the Siege Caterpillars. This is excellent. Oh look, more Mega Bombers, how cute. Bammo, and Bammo. <laughs> Why do you do this? Hey, we did it. Lost more minions than the enemy did, aw. And now we can get another upgrade here. We're gonna get the Toxic upgrade so we can launch more Neurotoxin. And now it's Blade Maggot Party. So everyone gets Blade Maggots every couple seconds. How well does that work? Oh, that's how it works, okay. Alrighty, guess we got, oh, that is actually very quick. That's very quick. I really could focus on other things. Like spitter backup. And this is pretty even right now. Oh, and we started with Wormy. This is looking pretty good so far. I can't really tell what's happening actually. But let's get some air support. Okay, I think we're starting to make a push. It's, it's so hard to tell actually. But at least I can daze all these guys. And then let's get some more harvesters. There's quite a few crits happening on both sides. You know what, let's get a zapper in the air because I can't really do anything about them now. And then we do some more damage. Oh, neurotoxins coming in, that's fine. Okay, now we have air support. That's good. Wormy's having an identity crisis. Oh man, they're breaking through on the one side. How do you get so many so fast? Okay, let's upgrade to the spewer so we get a lot more shots happening. They're grouping up pretty tightly, so I think it would work well. This is staying really even around Wormy here. I'm surprised. And then there is the occasional neurotoxin, but whatever. There we go. Mega spitters are here. And it's working as I thought it would. So I think for this, we need to get some more crowd control going on. So let's get a mini bomber. Here we go. Do the work. Yes. I just love the work that these mega spitters are doing on this crowd. Okay, they are starting to push back a little bit though, which I do not like. But now I can get the Mega Bomber, which should help things a lot. And then we can fuse them a little bit. The Queen is still getting so many Blade Maggots, and mine isn't getting as many. I think there might be something with the Proto Organs for that. Okay, I'm really not liking how much of a push they're making. I need a bit more crowd control happening, like a Mega Bomber. There we go. Air support is here. And then we'll get some spitter support as well. And I need more harvesters. I really do. Oh, and okay, now they have spitters now attacking the mega bomber. I need to keep him alive. Maybe if I neurotoxin them, it'll help things. It seems like most of his bombs are just hitting single targets right now, which is too bad. What I can do though is get a goop slug so I can start healing some of these units and make another push. And then this mega bomber is about to die. Uh huh. But now I can get a goop slug and then soon I'll be able to afford another mega bomber. All right, we're losing a little more ground than I'd like. Maybe I should drop a nuke on them. It might be worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll just do it right here, and then my units won't die. Most of them, anyway. Okay, now we can make a strong push. And the Goop Slug's working on healing everybody. Well, healing the weakest unit, I guess. And now we have Mega Bombers. Goop Slug is gonna get a friend. And we'll get some more Spewers. They have so many Spitters now. And just a bunch of them. What is that about? And I really don't know where that guy's dropping the bombs. He's just going off to the edge of the lane. Does Goopslug have a friend? I don't think Goopslug has a friend. He needs a friend. He also needs to heal that Mega Bomber like it's his job, which it is. That is so many spewers or spitters. Okay, now Goopslug has a friend. There's so much stuff flying in the air now. This is getting ridiculous. And there's so many yellow damage numbers, which I love to see. I kind of want to get the extra brain to try it so that Wormy shoots faster when he's on our side, which he definitely is. Yeah, I think that'll be worth it. Oh, there's that nuke. Okay. At least I have free blade maggots. And now my stuff is recharging. Wormy should be shooting faster. Okay, there's one. And the neurotoxin is recharging faster, so I like that. But man, now I need to save up to get a mega bomber back in the air. We are pretty even now, so I think I can afford another harvester. And I really should be upgrading these things too. I forgot about that. Just a little more. Okay, there's the upgrade. We got a strong line of spewers right now. I like it. Okay, they have skitter bugs. I'm not feeling too pressured by it yet. There's plenty of spewers keeping Wormy on our side. Oh yeah, they're all, it seems like they're all attacking a single unit or at least an area of units. That's amazing. And now we have another mega bomber in the air. 
And we can get another goop slug. That's doing so much damage to the spitters. I like it. Especially when I pair it up with my own neurotoxin. Okay, Wormy's back on their side, which I'm not a fan of. What happened to all my spewers? Did they get neurotoxined? They probably did. But we're still doing good on health. The queen is down to half, and ours is not there yet. We just need to push through their line again. The only problem right now is that our line is mostly like these weak units. Which, they work fine when they're paired up with each other. But if something gets through, then they just get torn apart. But as long as I'm bombing a lot of them with Mega Bombers, and... And let's just get another one. And, uh... Okay, I thought I launched a Neurotoxin. Never mind. There we go. Okay, we're, this is looking good. We're starting to push back. Our Mega Bombers are working. And we're just populating this guys with more Mega Bombers. And plenty of Goop Slugs to keep everyone alive. Oh, and we're starting to destroy their Harvesters, too. That's good. Oh, wow, I already dropped to six. I have no idea what they had before, but now he's upset. Oh, yeah, down to four. This is not looking good for you. And now our attack formation has become mostly bombers, which, I mean, I'm not complaining. They're bombing the queen directly, which is perfect. Hex reported. I think I saw that one mega bomber just drop all of them on the queen, too. That was awesome. Three stars. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this one. My queen only has one health. And the enemy queen is gonna have normal health. On the plus side, there's no wormy. So it's all basically just stay away from me, basically. So to make sure that happens, we need a strong attack force already in the beginning, I feel like. I kind of wonder what strategy is going to work here. I'm thinking maybe the tank strat is going to work best. Okay, but we're sending blade maggots out already. So we have a little bit of a head start. And we actually have a, a big head start. We're reaching the queen already. Or we're about to. Oh, there they are. Okay. But hey, we're pushing the advantage way far forward. And we already got a crit. Wow, that's like a slap in the face. And we have so many. Wow. I didn't realize we got 100 already. I'm going to upgrade the harvesters like right away. And then we're gonna get a proto organ to turn into a heart later. We'll neurotoxin these guys. All right, that's looking good. Let's get more harvesters. Hopefully sorta of quick. Now we launch more neurotoxin. Okay, this is the last blade maggot. Ooh, he got a crit. Wow, look at you go. Oh, come on, get a crit. Oh, he didn't though. That's too bad. Okay, we're just gonna send a bunch of blade maggots at once. I need room to like think. I also need something to, to attack these guys from a distance. I'm thinking the zappers are the way to go. Okay, I think we have enough time here for me to work on building the tank. And now we can get some zappers in the air. And they won't be able to touch us. Oh, except they have spitters now. Of course they do. Okay, this is why it was good to get the tank. But now I, I'm not so sure about the zappers anymore. Nope, stay away from the queen. Oh, that was risky. Okay, they're pushing forward really strongly. I don't like that. We're gonna get spears of our own. And our tank just died. That's that's really not good. That's really not good. Um, okay, you know what? Nuke. Right away. I don't care. Oh, okay, that was risky. Oh, now they have upgraded harvesters. Okay. That's fine. I'll get my own tank. I think I messed up here. I'm gonna dial this back. And then we need to send out some spewers with the tank as well. And I know these are spitters and spewers, but whatever. I don't care that much about the names. I have a bit of room to breathe so I can get more harvesters right now. Yeah, see, they're sending out, like, blade maggots. I need to get to 100 so I can get the spiky tanks. There we go. Okay, now we just need a little bit of time. And I also need to be able to buy the goop slugs. Oh, but they're so expensive. Everything is expensive now. This isn't good. I can get the spiky tank now. There we go. Now he's out in the field. Oh, man. They reached so far, actually. Okay, let's get a few more spitters. They're going to start hurting themselves on the tank, which is good. That's what I want to see. And now they have spitters now. And now I can get a goop slug. Mm, I'm probably going to need a new tank, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I can distract these guys for as long as I can. And now I can get a goop slug. Oh, man. They're just eating through the tank right now. That's not good. But now he's getting healed. That's what I like to see. Okay, good. We're pushing forward. And Goop Slug's gonna get some backup. I have a better idea. Instead of the spitters, we're gonna dial this back. And then we're gonna get another one of these. And this is gonna go the stinger route. Oh gosh, they're moving past the tank and onto the Goop Slugs. That's not what I wanted. That's exactly not what I wanted. Leave my Goop Slugs alone, you jerks. Oh, that was not part of the plan. I guess that's what happens when you only have one unit on the front lines. 
and then we'll get another goop slug. Ah, uh, this isn't looking good. Okay, now I can get the skitter bugs. So I can match these guys at least. And that zapper is moving past the enemy. That's not good. And by enemy, I mean me. The tank. Ah, I really should have bought air support. Okay, but now the second goop slug is working on offense. Stay away from me, sir. I, I really don't like this, personally. I don't know about you. Just stay focused on the goop slug until I get neurotoxin back. Okay, that's fine. Oh, man, that was so close. Oh, gosh, save those now. Okay, I really need air support. I'm going to be dialing this back again. And then water rockets. Because water rockets are my friends. I don't know why I didn't pick them sooner. Okay, then we'll get another tank. And now I can get water rockets. This is good. This is what I like to see. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then neurotoxin should finish those two off. Perfect. That's what I like to see. What I don't like to see is my tank getting swarmed, and I have, like, no production right now. Oh, gosh, they're reaching the queen. Ah. Quick, quick, build. Yes, get distracted by the harvesters. I don't care about those. Blow up, blow up. What are you doing? Ah! Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! Okay, I really don't know how this is going to go. My queen only has one health. The good news, though, is that there's no wormy to, like, you know, double-cross me right away. But I really wonder what strat is going to work the best for this. I basically just want to keep everyone away from the queen. So I'm thinking, like, ground units that can form a wall. Kind of like a tank. And then air defense. Okay, now let's get some blade maggots out into the field early. So we have a little bit of a head start. And while they're doing their thing, I'm going to work on production. And the Blade Maggots already made it to the Queen. That's kind of ridiculous. They're already pushing so much of an advantage. Oh, and they're just dominating the enemies as they come out. Come on, stop being distracted by the Harvesters and hit the Queen already. You're right there. Okay, that's fine, though. I need other units. How about a Waddle Rocket right away? I didn't realize I was collecting so much. I kind of got distracted by my... Blade Maggot's doing so well. And then we meet their line with Wild Rockets. Hopefully this does well. And they're already attacking my Harvesters because they're mean. Okay, they pushed all the way back to me early, but I'm not too concerned. Actually, I could upgrade these guys to Skitterbugs almost soon. Or a tank right now. Is that a bit of an early call? I feel like it might be too early. But I have so much, though. I could upgrade a Harvester and still make units. Nice. I like seeing crits on enemies with full health. Okay. Now they have spitters, so maybe it's a good thing to go for the tank. And then we save up a little bit. Okay, now we got a tank rolling, and that's literally all we have. Oh, boy. All right, tank is not going to do well by itself. Oh, it did take out the spitter, though. Okay, now we have full harvesters, and the water rocket is kind of leaving these guys in the dust. That is not the intention, but okay, just meet another tank and be busy. Oh, great, they killed that one. Should be fine, though. And now we can upgrade the harvesters to maximum. Ooh, that guy just blew up all those spitters. I like to see it. Okay, what next? I think going the stinger route is a good idea. So we can get that sweet, sweet poison. And this guy's totally leaving the tank behind. I don't know why. That's fine, though. He's just going to do his thing, chasing the water rocket a bit. And while he's distracted, we get skitter bugs. And that's a lot of spitters. Wow. We're kind of doing okay, though. I'm not too upset about this. Okay, now we have skitter bugs in the field. Here we go. And I timed that way too early. Only got one spitter. But these guys like to die on the spitters, so I have that going for me. And now I can get the stingers. There's a good call. We're actually doing pretty okay right now. As long as the spitters stay away from me, I'll be pretty okay about myself. Especially now that I have stingers. And what I want to do is put this last slot to a proto-organ and then get the extra heart. Now all my units get charged. Okay, now they're starting to uh, get into some air support. So, we can answer that with water rockets. And the stingers are here to answer the skitter bugs. So, since they went the skitter bug route, I guess they're going to get stingers soon as well. Now I can get the spiky tank. And let's just get one of those in the field, like, right away. I do like how my units are arranged. I got, like, a cheap unit, a medium unit, and an expensive one that does a lot. And especially with more tanks to block all these projectiles, too. But now what I need is stingers in the field to answer the spewers and then just poison them to death. Or I could just Neurotoxin on them, but it's not as fun. There we go, there we go. Starting to press forward. Yeah, and the Singer can really whittle down on their Harvesters too. Man, those spiky tanks really know how to press forward. And now their Harvesters are dying. I like that. 
As one tank goes down, we just go and get another one out in the field. So I think the queen has like normal health. And now, <laughs> yeah, it does. The water rocket got all the way to the end and was just waiting. It's like, can you kill me right now, please? I got a job to do. That's actually not a bad idea. Just send them all to the edge of the line. And now the tanks are there right now. Yes. Oh, sting the queen. Yes. Oh, I love to see it. Stack all of that beautiful damage. Oh, there's a nuke. But some water rockets still made it through. And all my units are advancing nicely again. Oh man, the queen already almost lost half. This is looking very good. Yes, just press through my beautiful creations. Oh yeah, sting the queen again. Do it, do it. Oh, this is just brutal. Just get all of that juicy damage. And more harvesters are dying. And the queen is dying. Oh, that poison stacks up so intensely. Lost on purpose? Yeah, sure you did. Yeah! Woo! And three stars at that. Awesome! And that is three challenge levels completed. So we're going to tackle these in another video. Hope you guys want to see that one because I'm ready to continue. Sub to intern.